Hello everybody, I'm here with Lily today and we are at Casey Kitchen Center. We're gonna be making um, a chimichurri, but we're gonna make it out of fresh greens out of the garden. And so normally chimichurri is made using parsley, but I'm gonna use arugula, dinosaur kale, a little bit of collards, just some things that we got out of the garden today and some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can totally leave it out of this recipe and either not substitute something else or you can use a little bit more arugula if you want to. A lily, a lily. Lily is going to be our chef today and she's going to put everything into the food processor. This is one of those fly by the seat of your pants recipes. You do not have to measure everything exactly except for the oil if you're counting points um, or if you're watching your fat intake, everything else just, you know, kind of eyeball it. So Lily, the first thing that you're going to put in is some fresh arugula and that is out of my garden and she's just going to grab some of that. It has been washed and she's going to cram it down in the food processor. You don't have to necessarily tear it apart. You do have to be careful with your fingers. Very good. Good. She's going to take, since we have these extra greens, she's going to take a piece or two of dinosaur kale, maybe uh, cut it in half, not cut, tear it in half. Looks good. Shove it in there. And a little bit of collard greens, also tearing that up. And then finally some cilantro, and that's going to be it for the greens. And these are all fresh out of the garden. You can get something like this at your farmer's market. Um, if you need to buy it in the store, that's totally fine. Okay, so all of that has been added to just a small food processor. This is gonna make about eight servings of chimichurri. If you're doing Weight Watchers, this is one smart point per serving if you do the eight servings. Next, Lily is gonna add a pinch, maybe a heavy pinch, and kind of sprinkle it around of red pepper flakes. You can put a little bit more than that in there. She's being very dainty since it's not an exact measurement. Okay, and then we're gonna put two garlic cloves in there. You can either put whole garlic cloves or I'm a cheater and I use the already um, already done squeezed garlic that's from Spice World. Next, kind of do it around like this. Lily's gonna put in two tablespoons of olive oil. If you don't wanna use any olive oil, you can substitute just a little bit of water because you need a little bit of moisture in it. And then we're gonna add a quarter of a cup. And again, just kind of put it around. A quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar. You can use rice wine vinegar if you prefer that, or if you want to use apple cider vinegar, you can totally use that. And the last two things, she's going to put in just a just a little bit of um, fresh ground black pepper, and that is from that is from Dax Spices. Oh my goodness, that was that was the tiniest very little, hard. Like, <laughs> that was the tiniest little bit of fresh really ground hard. pepper. If you don't have fresh ground pepper, you can just you would use whatever you have, but just a little bit of um, ground pepper, and like then fine. she's going to put a sprinkle. That's not quite a sprinkle. A little bit more, yeah. Just a pinch or two of, um, I use pink Himalayan sea salt. It doesn't have to be pink Himalayan. It can be whatever kind of salt you like to use. Be sure and put the lid on your food processor and we're gonna do it on chop. Okay. So that took about what, 10 seconds? And you're just gonna do it until it's a nice little chunky mixture. So that's about the thickness that you want it to be. And congratulations, Lily, you just made chimichurri. Yeah, so how easy was that? Easy. Okay, so we made chimichurri in three minutes and 32 seconds. This recipe will be on ifyouhaveanegg.com. Um, you'll be able to um, find this video later on YouTube. That's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. It will also be on Instagram um, on Reels. You can watch that there later. That is also if you have an egg. And we are going to get out our chimichurri that we just made in three minutes and 32 seconds, start to finish. And uh, we're going to put it in some super cubes, some of the super cubes little freezer so that we can freeze it for later and enjoy. I hope you all love this recipe and let me know what you think. Say bye, Lily. Bye. Bye. We'll see y'all later.